David and Sid show. Practically being reactive. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Sid Sharice. And I'm David Bosher. And you're listening to Destroy the Hairdresser, where we teach you to salon differently. After years of searching, we finally found a software that does it all. Introducing Aura Salonware. With Aura, you have the simple tools to streamline your business, such as a card on file, settings for hourly pricing, and even station sharing options. Implement communication boundaries with clients by interacting directly through Aura. Finally, a software that takes your business as seriously as you do. If you're interested in this type of profit maximization, visit aurasalonware.com slash DTH to receive special discounts and promos. As a hairdresser, I know the struggle of managing your back bar, and that's where our friends at SalonScale come to play. While you weigh your products with their app, SalonScale automatically tracks your products used, making inventory management a breeze. Not to mention, they also save your formula. They are a digital solution for back bar management, and they really make it easy. You know we're both big on knowing your numbers, and SalonScale does just that. Visit salonscale.com slash DTH and use the code DTH10 at checkout for 10% off your first year. I'm actually excited to talk about this. Me too. You know what? <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Perked right up. So one of the things that we teach to destroy the hairdresser all the time over and over and over and over and over Forever and over and ever until we die. <laughs> is reactivity and proactivity. Yeah. Understanding our reactive system and how our reactive system lives inside of our head all day long and usually controls 90, and that's a true statistic, <laughs> 90% of our thoughts, actions, and behaviors. And at Destroy the Hairdresser, we spend a lot of your first few months in coaching helping you hone in to understand where your reactive system is, how it talks to you, and how you can counteract it and control it. You can't get rid of it, nope. but you can control it. So many students come, you know, when they first start learning this, they'll, they'll say, Sid, I didn't get mad today. And I'm like well, that's reactive. And they're like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, like, it's okay to be mad. It's okay to have human functions. Yeah. It's okay to react to things. It's what you do with that reactivity that creates a proactive response. Well, that's... that's Or what, a reactive response. Well, that's what we want to talk about is that learning about your reactivity does not mean you will not be reactive. In mm -hmm. fact, I think it means the opposite. Good and bad don't exist in proactivity and reactivity. Yeah, it's not moral, immoral, ethical, unethical, good or bad. It's just reactive or proactive. Mm -hmm. For example, when you wake up in the morning and you turn and your alarm woke you up, you reacted yeah. to the alarm. You either jumped out of bed or you slammed it to the ground like me. Um, when your dog throws up on the floor, I guarantee you react to that. <laughs> I don't think anyone doesn't react to that. When your child you know, is screaming for 20 minutes straight at the top of their lungs, probably going to react to that. Yeah. And what, and the understanding of reactivity is not bad is a really hard thing for people to do because I think we live in a really puritanical society of like, if I yell, it's bad. If I scream, it's bad. If I stand up for myself and everyone's mad at me, then I, then I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. And what we want to help people understand is that understanding your reactivity doesn't mean that you're good or bad. It means that you have an emotional intelligence and an awareness that will allow you to control your environment in a much healthier way. I'm reactive all the fucking time. Yeah, I live in a constant Same. state of reactivity. Mm -hmm. As, like I, From the minute I wake up, my first thought is coffee. And if anything gets in my way of that, they're like going to die. If Josh talks to me too early, gonna die. The dogs have to go out before I get my coffee. I'm like, you're gonna have to be on the floor. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and what's funny, I had a, and I've, I've said this multiple times in different episodes, I had a boss one time tell me, if you need to do yoga, cocaine, or drink caffeine to do your job, you need to do that before you get to work. <laughs> and I remember it changed the way, it just, I don't know why, but I've never forgotten that. <laughs> Um, it's, it's there in your face. And what I liked about it was it it didn't say don't be an don't be react don't. It's not don't bring your problems to work. Yeah, it's leave them at the door. It's not that right. It's prepare yourself. However you need to. Do however it. you need to, so that when you are here, you can be proactive. Yeah, that might not be what she meant, but that's what I took. Okay, but I. <laughs> 
she might have just been like, don't bother me and get your shit together. <laughs> but I Which think... Which is proactive on her part. That's setting a boundary. That is proactive <laughs> on her part, right? And I think that we once you start coaching and you learn about reactivity or even if you're not in coaching and you're learning about how to control your anger, how to control your reactions and how to be more proactive in life, I think we get into this weird like toxic positive mm -hmm. realm of like, I'm smiling, I'm thinking positively. Sid does this to me all the time. I fucking hate it. She'll be like, don't say that. That's not, you don't want to put that in the universe. I'm like, fuck you. I put it in the universe. I'll deal with it later. But the point is... <laughs> being, I'm also very aware of the pain of it. I'm not avoiding the pain. But sometimes being reactive is proactive. Absolutely. Can you explain that? Yes. So prime example, um, we also teach reactive systems. So let's say there's someone that is just a little bit more hidden. Um, we would call this a fear reactive system. A little hermit. A little hermit. A little bunny in the hole. And <laughs> they suppress everything. And sometimes freaking out and exploding is a proactive response because it took all of that to do something different. It was proactive in the sense, I mean, did it create better for you? No, that's why we say there's no good and bad. But it did break them out of a suppressive reactive state. They were actually being more reactive by hiding versus learning. You know, we have a choice. Like we have this moment. There's like a split second whenever we feel anything, whatever that emotion is, where we get to choose how we're going to use it. And it doesn't mean that you can't be angry. You can be angry and choose to reactively scream at someone and say harmful things, which sometimes can be a good thing. Yeah. And then you could choose to be proactive where you're like mad at you. Yeah. And I don't want to be around you right now. And I'm walking away. If someone was running after you with a knife and you and I said, don't be reactive. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I, and you're in heaven. We're both in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. Or we wouldn't go to know. heaven, but we're both in heaven. And we're looking at each other and we're like, well, at least we didn't react. Yeah. Would least, that be worth it? No. <laughs> the, so there, you have to react. That's there why are, we. There are benefits to being reactive. The question is, is it controlling you mm -hmm. or are you controlling it? Yeah, there's a difference. That's where I think people. You have to clarify, like, did I yell because I turned into an animal and I had no control over my body and functions and words? Or did I yell because I needed to yell because in this moment, this person wasn't listening and I needed to get my point across? Mm -hmm. And I know that people out there are like, there are better ways to communicate. Of, of course there are there better are. ways to communicate. But every person has a different structure. Right. So you can't put us all in the same box and say, well, they yelled, so they're reactive when it's like, and I don't they yell, so I'm yell. not reactive. Yeah. It's like sometimes if you've ever like been maybe in, you need to yell a little. Or, you know, there's there's also the flight reactive system that runs away from everything. Yeah. And I can always tell a student is flight mm -hmm. when they they go, Oh, that's none of my business. <laughs> and they kind of just like they like observe and they watch. They're not part of the gossip, but they definitely don't. They know about it. Yeah, they don't do much. Or somebody's hurt and they're like, oh, I'm not going to get involved. Yeah. And it's like, you think that might be proactive, but because it's your natural reaction and it's controlling you, that's what makes it reactive. You either need to stop looking at it and viewing it. Or and, participate. Or participate. And I think that scares people. Yeah. Again, those of you out there that have... Because it's addicting and it's terrifying to participate. Well, those of you out there like me who have a fight reactivity and I like, if something comes at me, I'm going to fight it or someone disagrees with me. My first instinct is to like use facts to break their soul. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's easy to look at someone like me and say he's really reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's reactive in a it's more outward in your face. way. Yeah. Right? But then you have someone that's, they withdraw when they're, when they're confronted with something. Yeah. And then we go, oh, look how proactive they are. It's like, it's not. it's not proactive. They're just sweeping it under the rug. Exactly. And so one of the things I've had to learn, you know how we say don't judge people? <laughs> not we, like we in, as a, in the world. Yeah. Everyone's like, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. That's a, that's stupid. Number one, We're you, all do it, you're yeah. always judging. But number two, I think what I've learned that it means is I can't judge your reaction because I don't know what you're what you're working against. Yeah. So if I see two people yelling, 
I shouldn't say, wow, they're crazy and reactive. I should say, hopefully one of them staying up for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I have to realize that what looks one way to me is, might be proactive in that person's movie. Yeah. And that's hard to do. We have partnered with Hair Story, a product line that is good for our clients, our planet, and our bank account. Have you heard of New Wash? It's like a shampoo, but actually good for your hair. New Wash is a cleansing cream that cleans and conditions without the harsh foams and damaging detergents found in traditional shampoos. Hair Story does things differently, creating more conscious options that respect the environment and your hair ecosystem. Ready to try New Wash for free? Visit hairstory.com slash DTH to get pro access today cancel culture is so harmful because you don't know what's going on. You don't know what well, anybody's fighting Cancel culture against. is reactive flight. Yeah. Like, let's cut it off. Let's kill it. Let's let's get Versus these... talk to it and understand it and have a conversation, try to change it, transform it, grow it. There are... L- listen, there are some people out there that... that it should be canceled, yes. <laughs> which is also proactive. <laughs> which, yeah, which is very proactive. Society should have gotten rid of them a long time ago. Um, but then there are other people maybe that don't fall into that extreme of... Yeah, you just don't know. You, yeah, and it, like Jeffrey Epstein and your, <laughs> and your mean boss aren't in the same category of cancellation, yeah. right? So I think there's a level of... Or, or Harvey Weinstein, mm-hmm. right? Like... like we don't need to cancel everyone. We do need to get rid of people that are doing harmful things. We do need them to, you know, they need, I don't want to say suffer the consequences, but they need to, they need to take Be responsibility them, and, yeah. and, and I guess suffer the consequences <laughs> of their actions. But then you have someone, you know, you have the salon owner who made a mistake and all of a sudden they have to pay the same level of consequence that Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, publicly because of social media. You know, you said something great that I want to kind of dive into a little bit more about you don't know what they're up against. Like you don't know what internally they're fighting against. And, you know, it's always good to be friends with your demons, like in a way, because, and I hate to say that, it's so cliche, but that is what's there for you to proactively fight against. Mm. And it's like, whatever your instinct is, you have to learn to fight against it. It's hard. It's like building a muscle. I mean, we've we've been studying this for almost 20 years and also been teaching it for, what, over 10? So it's one of those things that just, it constantly takes practice, effort, failing, flailing. Failing and flailing. Flipping, or flipping it around. But, you know, it's it's so impactful. And it can go so deep and so shallow and all in the same sentence and it's beautiful. People might wonder why we teach reactivity. Yeah. At a in a business school for hairdressers mm-hmm. and a coaching program. It's because everything that we are going to teach you is gonna make you reactive. Yeah. Anything in any education should make you reactive. Right, right. Because it makes you think. Right. It should make you think. And when you then, but the next step is up to you. That's the important step. It's okay to reject something mm-hmm. as long as you're rejecting it because you've used critical thinking and you've made that decision. That it doesn't work for you. But it doesn't work for you. What's not good is it scares you. So it's so you your your brain and body have said it's bad, mm-hmm. and so we've labeled it as bad because it's easier to label it bad. So I don't have to do it. You know, like I I think of it like with health food. Yeah, I hate. I don't like eating healthy. It's not my, <laughs> not my favorite thing. And so, what if someone says, "Oh my gosh, you should eat kale. It's this," and then I'll be like, "Yeah, but I heard kale also has like tons of salmonella on it." Yeah. And you're like, "Is I say that right? Salmonella." Sure. Okay, everyone knows what I'm talking about. But then it's like you, my behavior is like, well, if I can demonize it, then I don't have to do it. Mm-hmm. Working out, it's like, well, I heard you, you know, you should do cardio to lose weight. I heard cardio is really bad for your heart. Yeah. He's like, demonize. bad for your knees. It's bad for your knees. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, Everything. but am I actually choosing? Have I decided that cardio is bad for me, or is or my did whole I read a title? Has my in whole an article. body and mind <laughs> come together to find a way not to do it? Yeah. And I think that's when we say reactivity. That's what we're helping people work on. Do you not like hourly pricing, or does it scare the shit out of you? And yeah. so you're finding reasons not to do it. That's not the same as saying I tried it; it didn't work. You could also say I'm terrified of running, and I'm still not going to do it. Exactly. I'm not. But instead of saying and admitting, <laughs> I'm not willing, I don't want to do it, even though I see it and I understand it and whatever, I'm not willing to do it or whatever the thing is, 
like you said, we demonize it. We're like, that's bad. That's, uh, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I, and we see this in coaching too. Like people will, if, if, so, if we say something that people are afraid of, they automat they find a way very quickly not to just explain why it doesn't work, but to demonize it in a way that's like, this will ruin your career. Mm-hmm. And it's like, will it? Or do the you, only person or that can ruin your career you? is you. <laughs> exactly. Is you. I promise you that. I pr- <laughs> do you pro- Is that a promise? That is a threat. Like that is, <laughs> I promise you the only person that can ruin your career is you. And I, I encourage you when you're learning new things that do make you reactive because they should. We we now use the word triggering, which is a, we can, it's a good word. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not it's an excuse. Lot, yeah. yeah, it's not an excuse to not do something. Um, if something triggers you or makes you reactive, really ask yourself, am I choosing to buy into my reactivity? Like, is my reactivity selling me some version of this that's not true or have I fully critically thought my way through this and I know this isn't good for me and usually if you've critically thought your way through it you don't have a negative positive or negative reaction to it it just doesn't even register yeah am I watching the movie I'm in or am I writing myself am I producing it am I producing it yeah it's it's up to you boo (laughs) the world is up to you and if you want to know what your reactive system is, you can, we have a free class on our website. So if you go to destroythehairdresser.com, there is a free class right there called Foundations for Success. And you will learn a little bit more about reactivity, emotional intelligence, and some other methods that we talk about to get you prepared for coaching if you so choose. Sid, what reactive system are you? Ooh, in what, in what environment? I'm the same in every environment. I'm not. So I'm actually flight in relationships, like personal relationships. Oh, interesting. And fight in business. I'm fight in all <laughs> forms. I'm not fear anywhere. But I notice in my personal, loving, non-professional relationships, I'm flight. Interesting. I don't want to deal with the hurt of people that I love. But in business, I'm fight. I'm fight. I'll knock them right down. Yeah. Yes, I... I if there's one thing, if you never do coaching, like if you never sign up for coaching, I that's the one thing I, that's why it's free on the website. Because I know those two things. I know that in business, I need to listen more and talk less, even though we have a podcast that all we do is talk. <laughs> and in my personal relationships, I need to talk more and stand up more and run towards the problems. But if I didn't know my reactive systems, I wouldn't know how to proactively, I don't want to say the word correct. What's the word? Like, Transform. Transform, yeah. I Because I'm fight, it's really hard for me to take criticism. Mm-hmm. It's really hard for me to take other people's ideas and use them because I've automatically assumed that they're not going to work. Mm-hmm. Not that they're bad. They're, I just assume they're not going to work. Yeah, that's um, definitely a... And then I, then, I, then I stress myself out like I have to have all the... I have to have all the solutions. <laughs> yes, yeah, all And I you. don't have them. <laughs> um, so whether or not you actually ever do coaching or you jump into our self-guided program or whatever it is that you that you do, I do encourage you to go to the website, take the Foundations for Success course, learn about your reactive system. If you can just take this, you're, it'll transform your career. You don't, mm-hmm. even, you don't even need the coaching. The coaching is to go deeper. Yeah. And to really dive deep down into the, those dark spots uh, of your career and your life. But go to the website, download it. It's yours. Keep it, share it, give it to everyone you know. The more people that can learn about their reactivity, I think the more proactive... Uh, people we'd have in the world. More proactive industry. Next time on Destroy the Hairdresser, the podcast. Using technology properly will allow your business to have authenticity. It'll be more humane. (laughs) Um, More human, more humane. Uh, It'll allow you to take more control, have stronger conversations, become a better leader, become a better artist because you're letting the jobs that were ruining your soul be done by something that can be automated. Mm